It's that time of year, the holiday party time of year. You're probably either dreading them or just super stoked on them. But I'm willing to bet that you're probably frustrated by the lack of connection at those holiday mixers and you start with good intentions and end up missing the mark when the party's over. So if you're if that qualifies as you, if you if you if you relate to that, then check out this video here and we are going to talk about how to make the most out of holiday parties this year. Hey everyone, Ian Campbell here. I am CEO of Mission Suite. Before we jump into today's video, of course, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button and ring the bell so you're notified every time that we post new videos. All right, holiday parties. All the things that go around them. No, we're not talking about holiday recipes. We're not debating the best cocktails to have at the office mixer. We are talking about holiday parties, networking, and how successful business owners and successful salespeople uh, use these festive events to build and maintain their clients, the, their contact relationships, and their partner relationships. So let's jump in here and talk about how you can use these events to best build your business. Now, first things first, let's talk a little bit about something that's near and dear to my heart, building out your referral network. Successful business owners, salespeople, and marketers are often very active members of referral networks. We're, we're always busy staying in touch with, with our clients, and, but they also nurture relationships within their referral network. And as you probably already know, the holidays are a great time to connect and to reconnect. Now, to quickly recap here, if you're unfamiliar with the concept of a referral network, it's basically a group of business owners and professionals who, always, who all work together to grow their businesses or advance their careers in some way. Oftentimes, they're going to meet regularly. They're going to strategize on how to grow one another, with one another and help one another do that as well. One of the most straightforward examples of a referral network might be a real estate agent who works with different uh, mortgage lenders, insurance agents, inspectors, so on and so forth, and they all agree to refer business to one another, right? It's, it's oftentimes pretty informal insofar as it's basically, uh, hey, listen, if, if I refer you, you'll, you'll refer me, right? Referral groups, though, they often organize over the holidays in an effort to maximize the, the, the effort that they're putting into one another, right? They go to each other's events. They're going to collaborate to throw a party, to share the, share in the cheer, share in the goodwill, and also share the client base. Smart business owners are always going to maintain an active group of at least three to five key people who regularly send them qualified leads, and those are the people that oftentimes are going to be doing this. You should be, if you're not already, part of a referral network of some sort. Uh, dig into your CRM, right? Generate a list of your top business contacts, those who offer potential alignment with your business. Attend their holiday events or invite them to yours. Plant the seeds for strategic partnership. Attend holiday business events or parties in your industry, not just to find customers, but to find others to be on your team as well. If you think holiday networking is hard, well, know that building a good referral team is even harder. But just like the party, you're going to have fun once you get there. Right? Referral networks are the most reliable way to grow your business, but one bad apple can take down the whole tree. So it's super important to make sure to work with those who hold themselves to the highest standards and highest level of integrity. Staying connected doesn't have to be an arduous task. Uh, using a CRM that can help you uh, uh, do this is, is really effective, right? Something like Mission Suite, of course, working for you in the background can really lessen the burden on your time and, and your effort and can help you organize those contacts really effectively. Another great way to use holiday parties is to strengthen your connection to current and past clients. Great business relationships are obviously crucial to growing your business, and holiday parties are a great way to reach out and remind other people that you appreciate them and our presence in their world, specifically if they're a client of yours or a customer of yours. Like everyone else, customers are stretched pretty thin during the holidays, so it's always important to structure some sort of an event that will provide an incentive for them to attend and maximize your efforts to strengthen those relationships. So what can you do to maximize your chances of connecting with your customers over the holidays? Well, many business owners are going to have customer appreciation parties over the holidays, right? It's kind of the standard, right? The office Christmas party that everybody gets invited to. Right? They're going to provide some sort of a gift or some sort of experience for other customers, for the clients. For example, an event might be held at a winery where customers will receive a bottle of a yet-to-be-released wine if they attend, a movie screening with complimentary refreshments, tickets to a sporting event where everyone's going to get to sit together and celebrate the holidays or an exclusive VIP concert. Right? These are all great ways to kind of separate yourself from the standard holiday party, right? 
But if you can't afford that, don't worry about it. The event doesn't have to be extravagant. It just needs to be a warm and memorable experience that lets your customers and clients know that you actually care about them and that you're going to be, be you're, that you're going to be remembering them so that they'll remember you and they'll talk about you going forward and they'll they'll remember you they'll they'll reach out to you when when they need when they have a need. Special guests are another way to entice customers to your party. This could be something like a motivational speaker, an author, a well-known musician, something like that. Or you could hold a charitable event. But giving together makes everyone feel good and is a great way to grow solid relationships. There are countless ways to show your customers that you care about them. Again, an event doesn't have to be a huge budget buster. It simply needs to be some sort of an experience that makes your past and present customers feel special. So... Get creative. Make a list of 10 to 15 clients that you want to connect with over the holidays and give them your version of the VIP treatment, whatever that might be. And don't forget to attend those customers' parties when you're invited. Attending parties of customers, vendors, suppliers, partners, so on and so forth, it strengthens your relationships with them by letting them know that you are genuinely interested in their world. It reminds them that you're there, that you're around. Holiday parties are a great place to generate qualified marketing leads. An event like this is going to pull put you together with an abundance of potential leads and referral partners where you can deliver your message face-to-face -face with your own voice. You'll remember that a qualified marketing lead is someone who has expressed an interest in your product based on communication that you've initiated. Well, this is a great way to find those marketing qualified leads. Again, CRM is going to help you stay connected and segment your contacts and to send more personalized messages to these groups. And if it's a good one, it'll do it automatically for you. Obviously, you're not going to send the same message to, to all these different groups, right? You're not going to send the same message to somebody that you met at your lawyer's holiday party as the person that you met at your own. So using a CRM is going to help you stay engaged with clients, referral partners, and all those different folks. Another great way to use holiday parties is to make connections on the networking circuit. The anti-networking segment is not going to like this, but I'm going to say it anyway. Business networking groups and events should also be a top priority all year round, but especially around the holidays. If nothing else, the holidays give everyone a chance to get out to one more event and make connections they might have missed in the past 12 months. Networking events put you among dozens, if not hundreds, of potential customers or referral partners. In one night, you can potentially talk to more people face-to-face -face than you can arrange to meet or be connected to in a whole month, sometimes, depending on who you are, even an entire year. Not only, not, obviously not everyone will be a match for you, but it's important to make connections because you just never know where your next great referral partner or lead will come from. Look at networking events not just as a chance to boost your business, but to practice your elevator pitch, right? Boost your confidence in that. And most importantly, build relationships with new and existing referral partners. Attend as many events as you can and make a point of working the room. Talk to those people that you know, of course, but introduce yourself to the people that you don't know. Make sure that you're making those new connections, right? Go prepared with a well-rehearsed pitch, of course. Obviously, bring a bunch of business cards. Because while you may not be able to have a substantive conversation at a crowded cocktail reception, you can at least make a memorable impression and ask for a post-holiday meeting with your most promising leads. The most important step comes after the event, though, and that's the follow-up. I know I've talked about this before. I will continue to talk about it because it is the single most important step for anything that we do when it comes to networking and referrals. Because we're going to talk more about this at the end, right? But right now, think about this. All the time that you spend shaking hands, right? And all the time that you spend networking is all lost if you don't reach out to those contacts after the event and stay top of mind. And strangely enough, this is where so many of us fail. Good CRM. Using a system like Mission Suite can make this part a lot easier. It can actually automate it, and it can, it can help you better connect with that contact. Get those contacts entered in your system, and you have a charming, encouraging email that goes out to them the very next day or right off the bat. Further, if you can segment those contacts even more, then you can send them messages that will resonate with them. And you'll start, start that relationship off looking like a rock star because you were the one that delivered a thoughtful message throughout the, without delay. Right, the, the 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 early bird gets the worm. Right, one last pitch for networking at holiday events. Attending holiday network holiday networking events can help you make new connections and opportunities. It can give exposure to your business, and they can build credibility for your brand. Professional networking isn't all about getting new leads. We've talked about this. I don't even know how many times before. It's not about getting leads. It's about letting your business be known and building your reputation. 
Now, I know that we just talked about the fact that networking isn't exactly about new business, but we can't avoid the fact that that is a big part of the reason that we do this, right? So whatever holiday parties that you decide to hold or the ones that you go to, the objective is to connect with and spend quality time with your customers and partners and provide an environment where you, environment where you can talk to them. And more importantly, where you can listen to them. The keyword here being listen, because people love talking about themselves and they love to be heard. So get creative, mentally prepare a list of questions, conversation starters, for if you will, to, that are going to get people talking about themselves, talking about their businesses. Listen for business challenges, listen for opportunities faced by the people that you meet to find out what problems your company might be able to solve for them, right? Discover what a business owner is going to be focusing on in the new year and figure out how you or your firm or maybe one of your referral partners can help them. Holiday parties provide an excellent opportunity to communicate face to face. If you put yourself in the role of a listener, then you can usually find ways to help customers both old and new. So listen to discover those who have the potential to, en to enter a mutually beneficial relationship with you. If you've ever listened to and later recalled a detail, a contact shared, well, you know the impact can be really big. I think that one of the key elements of successful networking is really, truly listening. And I've known a few salespeople in my day who were probably okay at the sales game, but because they were so good at listening, they won people over and won deals all, all day long. It's easy to do sometimes, but it can be really, really impactful to make someone feel really important. So, okay, let's move on because as promised, I do want to talk a little bit about the one thing that I will never stop talking about, and that is the follow-up. Follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up, follow up. I can keep going. I know that after working all day and then attending a party, you're probably going to be pretty tired. But if you hang in there just a little bit longer, this is really the important part of that, right? Because otherwise it all goes away. You've talked to a lot of people. You listen, you learn about their businesses, their challenges, their goals, all that sort of stuff. Maybe you've found a good referral partner. Who knows? You've taken a lot of notes, probably mentally, about all the people that you've connected with and entered everything that you know about them in your CRM. And you've probably got at least a handful of new qualified marketing leads. Now the party's just getting started, though. Now is the time to get your messages together. Think about a handwritten note to the people that, uh, that you celebrated with to reinforce some sort of an ongoing conversation. Now you've made the initiative to, to get to know someone at an event, your potential customer, partner, uh, refer, alliance will welcome your call and look forward to a meeting with you. Now you're positioned to build upon that relationship, but only if you follow up. Imagine if you met someone at a networking event, exchanged cards, and chatted for a bit, thinking that this could be a great contact down the road. Think about how impressed you are when you get a personalized note from that person with some sort of small detail from their conversation so that, they, so that you know that it's not just a, hey, great to meet you type of a thing. Wouldn't you feel compelled to reply or at least think that this person was interested in genuinely connecting? It's the power of follow-up and it makes all the difference. So as always, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, do me a favor, give it a thumbs up, give it a share so that others can see it too, comment on it, what have you. It helps us with the YouTube algorithm and helps us to get in front of more people with, uh, with some of this information. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell so that you're notified every time that we post new videos. And while you're at it, check out the videos that are on your screen, and we'll see you next time around. Cheers.